Chief Meteorologist Chris Boone, sponsored by Jim Bass Cars and Trucks. Now that we're getting into the evening hours, we're seeing temperatures start to cool off across the state of Texas, some 50s and 60s as we go into the evening. Again, we see the effects of that southerly wind a little bit warmer than what we saw yesterday. We're going to continue that warming trend going into Tuesday and Wednesday. Otherwise, we're going to be keeping an eye on some clouds off towards our southwest. That's going to continue to move off towards the east. We're going to be looking at some cloudy conditions for much of the week ahead. Otherwise, here in the Concho Valley, we've seen some of those high clouds. Again, just a couple of those upper-level cirrus clouds kind of blowing through the area, moving in from the northwest down towards the southeast. And again, it has been a pretty nice day. Temperature-wise, close to pretty, close to average, rather. Again, we got up to 68 for our afternoon high. That's really close to where we should be for this time of year. We did start, start a little bit on the cooler side for those early morning, started in the lower 30s. We'll look to return to the mid-30s as we go into tonight. Again, saw that early start, but once we got past sunrise, temperatures warmed up pretty nicely getting into the 60s. And we'll see, again, another chance for those cooler temperatures as we go into tonight. 58 degrees here in downtown San Angelo with those southeasterly winds, six miles per hour. Again, those southerly winds, it's going to allow us to begin warming up as we continue through the week. Some upper 50s for the area, 59 in Brady, Menard here in San Angelo, 61 in El Dorado, and 63, a little bit warmer the further south you go across the Concho Valley. Otherwise, again, tonight, temperatures falling into the mid-30s. Cold one in storm. We will be watching for those clouds to increase as we go through the overnight hours. Slight winds at the south at 5 to 10 miles per hour. And those are going to start to increase for us tomorrow, gusting up to 25 during the afternoon. So a little bit more breezier, a little bit more cloud coverage, and a little bit warm, warmer as we get into the afternoon with temperatures in the lower 70s and afternoon high of 71. We'll watch for those southerly winds to really start to pick up going into Tuesday. That's going to continue for us on Wednesday as well. Won't be until late Wednesday that we start to see those winds turn more out of the north with our next cold frontal system. And that could be bringing some rain chances due to the increased moisture we see building out ahead of that cold front. Uh, again, late on Wednesday, and then that cold front comes through, kind of gives it that lift to the moisture that we need for the storms and showers to kind of develop. So again, mostly cloudy conditions as we go through the majority of the week ahead. It won't be until late Wednesday and early Thursday that we start to see just an isolated shower. Again, early Thursday morning, things should really clear out as we get into the afternoon hours for your Thanksgiving, at least as far as the rain's concerned. We'll still hang on to some of that cloud coverage. If you're doing any traveling for Thanksgiving, again, most of that rain's going to move off towards our east. So places like Houston, Corpus Christi, even San Antonio could see some of those heavier showers for Thanksgiving. I think we'll be done with the rain by the lunchtime hour for your Thanksgiving. So your seven-day forecast looks like this. Breezy for the next couple of days. 70s returning for again on Wednesday, but then that cold front pushes through. It's going to pull our temperatures down by about 20 degrees. Rain chances late on Wednesday into early Thursday morning, but then a cool down going for the majority of the weekend.